To sum up quickly, what you just saw was in visual effects. It is a combination of a pattern recognition AI called U squared net, which finds the important object in the image and creates a mask of it, and an algorithm called Screen Point based on OpenCV, which is a real time computer vision library to find the coordinates between phone angles and computer screens, which then created this copy and paste program you are seeing right now, and it works like magic. I remember the demos trending somewhere online, and I agree, it looks really confusing and fascinating at the same time. It is like one of those zacking magic if you know what I'm talking about. But how exactly good is this AI, I mean program? Let's give it a quick and sweet breakdown like how I like my polysaccharides. The key to this program is u squared net going deeper with nested u structure for salient object detection. It's trained to accurately mask out the salient which stands for the most important or noticeable object in an image. If this step fails, nothing will work and you can see it clearly when you make it difficult for the program to run. Currently, u squared net performs the best in a benchmark test between other masking AIs. It surprises me that u squared net's new architecture not only beats other AIs performance wise but also takes up less memory memory for the trained model compared to other AIs. Another key part of this program is the screen point algorithm. It uses OpenCV's library to transfer the location in real time and send the coordinates to where the masked object you plan to place from the view of your camera onto your Photoshop and paste it accurately. Without this, this program wouldn't be as magical. And right now this AI only works on Photoshop, but the author is currently developing it into an app and you can queue up for early access here. Now let's have a closer look at AR copy and paste. Since it is using screen point, I suggest the background should have more detail so it is easier to match the features and place the objects accurately. But when I say accurately, it's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. What the f where did it go? What the what the f happened here? Hello? Hello? That's that's not even close at all. Why is it on the other side? It is not really accurate compared to how the official demo shows, which is kind of disappointing. And now, stating the obvious, it works spectacularly on well-defined objects under enough lights, but definitely not when the lighting is crap and you can see the outline. Well, the results here are still able to trace out its unclear silhouette, but it looks like a bottle ghost. On the other hand, it is very successful at masking glass or transparent objects. It only took me one try to mask this wine glass. Also, flat objects, virtual objects, all can be easily masked and pasted onto Photoshop in an instant. But the main problem here is that the program's results are all in low resolution, so it looks really blurry and undefined when there are obvious details in their original. Overall, AR copy and paste demonstrates great potential for mobile editing apps. Definitely something you would see be used on Snapchat or TikTok. But U Square Net definitely can be a pretty convenient for a more diverse usage, as it shows insane accuracy at masking salient objects. If you want to use this AR copy and paste before its official app release, I will link my tutorial of how to run this program in the description. And this video is sponsored by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit and reach out at infinite.red. Ooh, did I do it well? That was my first sponsor message. And yeah, just check out my Patreon during my Discord. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't. Yeah, and I'll see you all next time.